My name is Julie Swenson. I'm a homeowner, business owner, and I work in downtown Tacoma. I'm also a member of the Tacoma Narrows Rotary, Tacoma Pierce County Association of Realtors, Tacoma Orthopedic Association, and the Tacoma Events Commission Board. I lived in the Tacoma area in the early 1990s, and I raised my kids on the east side. I remember taking them to the Daffodil Parade one year and being scared and nervous because of how dangerous the downtown area was. I never took them back and later decided to move to Everett. In 2005, I moved back to Tacoma, and I could not believe how much it had changed. Even more so now, six years later. Tacoma is a place I'm proud to call home. I love working downtown, and I help people every day buy homes in Tacoma. Yes, there has been a lot of work to make our city more attractive to tourists and citizens that live here with our arts museums, theaters, restaurants, shops, and businesses. <clears throat> However, if people do not feel safe and they stop spending their money here, live or visit here, the negative economic impact on our city will be enormous. We cannot allow our city to go back to the 1990s. I cannot work in a downtown area filled openly with gangs, prostitutes, and thugs. I cannot ask people to spend their money here, and I can certainly not ask people to make one of their largest investments ever by purchasing a home here. You may not have lived here then, now, or plan to live here in the future, but if you care at all about the city that you worked so hard to get elected to represent, I ask that you take a good look at the proposed cuts you're asking the police and firefighters to take, along with the closure of several fire stations in the area. Do you want your name and reputation attached to the downturn of what is and could continue to be a thriving, safe, and proud city? These cuts may look good on paper, but I promise you, when something tragic happens to a family due to these cuts you've made, no amount of numbers in the black will matter, and it will be on each and every one of you that do not take a stand and demand that other actions are taken to help balance our budget. Every time that my husband goes to work, I kiss him goodbye, never knowing if he'll come home the next day because he's willing to put his life on the line to save the lives of others and the property of others. There are hundreds of other firefighters and police officers that do the same every day to help protect you the citizens of, and the citizens of Tacoma. These men and women who go to work every day to protect us do not deserve to have their safety put on the line due to these very cuts that you are proposing. Tacoma, the city that has come so far, does not deserve it, and the citizens that counted on you when they voted for you in good faith do not deserve this. Tacoma may not be your future, but it is ours. Thank you for your time.